What's up guys, Prometheus here. What's up guys, Prometheus here, and today we'll be doing a tutorial on ClipChamp. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make our own lower third. So basically what we're gonna do is go to our uh, media bin here, and uh, we're going to, uh, first we'll just import a, um, let's see, a random video. Sure, that works. And then we go ahead and import, uh, we're gonna need a picture um, of some sort to use this uh, to make our lower third. Let's go to pictures. Da, da, da. There we go. Import a picture. Okay. Bingo. We have um, pictures. And then we need to go to stock images and get the black plane layer right there. Boom. We're going to go three seconds in and uh, create our little slice right there. And uh, we'll delete the excess right there. Boom, three seconds, boom, and then go back to our media and then uh, drag the picture onto our timeline here. We're going to resize it up, bring it down about so, and then you see how it just pops in like that. We just want to make it a little better, a little fancier. So we want to go ahead and go to transitions and click and drag the push right. So we have the push right and uh, go ahead and play that. It just works like just like that. And then, of course, right here, if this is highlighted, we can adjust it, make it faster or slower, depending on what we need. Or if we don't want to have that push right, we can go to transitions and replace it right here. Um, all right, next step is we're going to use our text. We're going to add a text. We're going to add the subtitle text, uh, which is basically nothing, no special animations or nothing like that. So we're going to add that right there. Boom. But we want to click and drag it underneath the picture. That's what we're trying to do. So click and drag. And we want to kind of start it right after uh, right after the picture goes in. Boom, just like that. And we're going to go to make sure it's highlighted and go to text and highlight that. And I'm not sure the symbol, but all the way left of your keyboard in front of the number. And we're going to type that right there. And we're going to go to colors. I'm going to change it to uh, my, one of my favorite colors, red. We'll change it to red, a different shade of red or whatever. And boom, there we go. Highlight it once again and uh, size it up. We're just going to make it a little bars right here. And size it. Size it up. Boom. We'll strip this over just a hair. And uh, make it a little bigger. And once more. Boom, okay, so we have that kind of like where we want it. Um, then we're gonna to, uh, we'll click over here in a blank timeline, and then we'll click this, make sure that's highlighted, and duplicate, we gotta duplicate this. Once it's duplicated, we'll bring it back down once more, and um, we'll actually extend this a little bit over here. Boom. All right, we'll bring it down a little bit. Boom, okay. Then we're gonna duplicate this once more. Duplicate. Try to bring it kind of close to where we, we need to. There we go. And bring this over. Boom, like that. Once again, duplicate. Bring it underneath and duplicate and bring it just about here. We might need to adjust later. All right, we have our transition here. Everything looks good here. Let's kind of zoom in so you see the timeline a little bit better. Okay, and so we have our pictures, boom, kind of like that. And basically, we have so far is we'll play it from right here. You might have to play it a couple times to see if it'll work. Boom, that looks okay. Um, you can fine tweak it later. Um, we want to add another black plane layer at the end. Let's go ahead and add it. Bring it by the picture. Boom. And then we'll go back to transitions, and we want to do the push left to kind of make it go back. Uh, we need to push it a little bit in more. Let's see, push left, push left, 
Okay, so we're going to play it one more time. Picture slides in. And then picture slides out. Oh, see right there, we need to adjust it pretty good here. We need to go ahead and mm, make it duration a little slow, a little faster, actually. That way it looks mm, like it's uh, disappearing. All right, and then this needs to go in a little bit. In, in, and in. So we'll play it one more time. And some more. And uh, so let's play, try to go through it slow mo. Boom. Play it again. Perfect. That looks pretty good. So now what we need to do is add our um, text up top here. We'll add it about right there. We'll go to our text and we'll uh, just add the glitch effect. I think that's all pretty good. Add the glitch. Back, we'll size it right there and then we'll uh, go to text and we'll add our username uh, we'll put IG and we'll use mine for this example okay and then size it up we can use it right here size it up quick little size up there uh, we might need to make it smaller at all preference depending on what you want so here we'll go ahead and play it one more time boom Okay, that looks pretty decent. Boom, okay. Now you may think that's uh, not so fancy, but it's, you, we're using what we got, uh, thinking outside the box a little bit. So we'll go back to our media, and we're going to go to the beginning of the timeline, and then we're going to add our text here. Now if you notice, if we go to the beginning, it's black, even though we have our video right here. So to get rid of that, we'll... Highlight the black plane, go to filters, and scroll all the way to the bottom towards the left. Bottom left it would be a filter called black, white, removal. And that's what we're going to use. And the same thing, highlight the other plane on the opposite end. Boom. And then let's play it to see what happens. What's up, guys? Prometheus here, and today we're doing a short. Boom. There you go. I should have muted the audio, but <laughs> that's okay here. Hold on, mute it. And then. Once again, it should be, uh, again, you might have to replay and tweak some stuff and resize it to your liking, um, but that's pretty much it. And then, uh, so you may may not want to uh, have it right here at this beginning. So what you can do is a good feature here is highlight all of it, click left click and drag and highlight, and then right click and group. That way you can move it all together to a different spot of the timeline. So boom. Let's just play it from the beginning. See, it's a little farther away. And then play. Boom, it removes it. It's all gravy. And bingo. We might have to, we did mess those up a little bit, but that's okay. Here, let's undo that's easy fix. Boop. What you can do there, in case you need to go retweak everything, just the bars, you can actually re. We can un. un ungroup <laughs> you can group these just the the symbols we made group them and then you can move these whatever I kind of probably messed it up there but that's okay see boom, boom, boom. and then once again highlight and left click and boom and group so it should be group one group two inside and it's it's a uh, fancy like that so play Boom, and it works. Uh, guys, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button if you liked the video and click the notification bell so you know my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any other ideas of anything I could do or needed help with something, uh, I'll comment down below and I'll do my best to help out. Thank you guys and uh, happy editing.